Well, hello everybody. This is Lisa De Nicolets, writer for a year, back again. And if I look a little tired, it's probably because I am. It's been an amazing couple of weeks, but it's been really busy. And tonight, um, there's an event with the Sisters in Crime. I'm on a panel talking about why we set our books in Toronto, which is really gonna be fun. And I hope to get some good clips from that. And before we start, I'll just treat you to some Subway music that uh, I bought the CD of, and I think it's really very special. So I hope you'll enjoy. Thank you. doing make sure you're in the right place uh, we're going to be talking about Toronto Hogtown Toronto as a location for crime fiction and or, or make you all very angry with me but the thing is when I came to Toronto which was in the year 2000 my initial impression was that it was the biggest flattest small town in the whole world <laughs> Long time for me to become someone who really cared about Toronto. It, it, I think it came as Toronto changed. It was a very wasp, white city in the early 60s. I think that's when I came, and it's been a it's a very different city now, and I love it. It's interesting what starts to emerge as people talk because I moved to Toronto about 1963. Oh. And it was a very, very different city then. And it was quite Victorian. So once I, I wanted to write in the Victorian period because I like it. And it was very natural to write where I lived. And it was, I thought it was easy to try to capture that flavor. Now it's so different. It's hard to even recognize the city. Some who were likely lost souls had been drawn to the church in search of a place of comfort, while others were attracted by the idea of joining a social activist community in which their voices might have an impact. I was married for a few years. Um, I, I'm blaming my ex-husband for this, who was my husband then. We moved to Aurora, and I was there for 23 years, even after we split up. So what was that? Well, raising my son there, I guess, but also, um, I don't know, the houses were cheaper up there then. However, the late 1990s, I wanted to come back. I was homesick. I just 